Hi y'all, it's Bea. I'm an incoming freshman at UC Davis from the Philippines. Today is September 16, the first day of the International and National Orientation, or INO. And I'll be taking y'all through the week so you know what to expect as an international or out-of-state student coming to UC Davis for the first time. I just checked into Regan, Maine for the International and National Orientation and there's a really long line over here and they gave us a bag with a lot of stuff and I'll go through it later when I get into my room. Since my orientation room is the same as my academic year room, I'm currently going to move in all of my things, hello parentals, into my dorm and we are going there now. Something really important that I forgot to mention a while ago is that at check-in you'll receive these name badges and you have to wear them at all times or else you won't be able to attend any of the sessions throughout the week. And if you have family members registered for the family program, they also need to wear the name badges that they'll receive or else they can't attend any of their own sessions. And they'll also receive access cards like the ones I showed you earlier so that they can eat in the dining commons. Anyways, I'm on my way back to my dorm to attend the residence hall social at 7 in the evening. Since many international and out-of-state students just arrived from the airport, today's schedule was pretty flexible and chill, but nonetheless, it was all super fun. The first official day of orientation with the group sessions is tomorrow, so I'll see y'all then. Good morning, guys. Today is the first day of official orientation sessions. Yeehaw! And we are about to go to the Mandavi Center for our first session. How excited are you, Macy Moo? I'm so excited. Oh my god, that's what my cousin called me. <laughs> Hey Gabby, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> See you guys later. Okay, so after the welcome session at the Mandavi Center, all of the college departments separated to various locations for the uh, different college orientation sessions and because I'm in the College of Letters and Sciences, I stayed in the Mandavi Center. And now we're separating into national and international students for different sessions regarding our status of living, something like that. Not exactly sure, but we're walking somewhere right now and I'll update you guys later.
Caring Hall, all of the national students just finished having a California living orientation overview, something like that. Yeah, introducing us to tourist spots and what to do around Davis. I'm not exactly sure what the international students did, but I'll fill you guys in on that later. Now we're going to Tercero for a small group discussion. I'm with my tour leader, Deanna, but I'm in the back, so I can't show you her now, but I'll introduce you guys to her later. See y'all then. All of us were separated into two groups, blue and gold, so that we don't congest the lunch area, the dining commons. And now my group is going to be having lunch. We just finished lunch and now everybody is going to be on a campus tour led by their orientation leaders and I'll be showing you guys around. So I just finished my campus tour with Deanna, with my orientation leader, and we're pretty much free for the rest of the day. There's dinner, but it doesn't necessarily have to be with our orientation leader, like lunchtime. So yeah, there's not much to do until tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today is the second day of orientation. I have to check in. This is my RA Star main. Hi. And today we are going to the science lecture hall because I'm in group B. Group A goes to the California, California. Hall and we're going to have a talk on life as an Aggie. And unlike yesterday, there was no one to come and pick us up and bring us to the place. Oh no. So we left late. Well, That's not late. Why I'm here. Yeah. I'm the replacement because I'm such a good RA. <laughs> yeah, so tip, no one's going to lead you on the second day after check-in. You got to go to the place yourself and like figure out how to get there. If nobody like who's an upperclassman can bring you, then use Google Maps. Google Maps is your best friend. Or maybe somebody was just super disorganized today and they just overslept, you never know. I'm pretty organized. Anyways, <laughs> you anyways, sure about this? yeah. <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys later after the lecture that I am going to know everything about because I'm not late. Bye. life as an Aggie session we all got separated by college departments some even separated again by international or national groups I got separated into the College of Letters and Science national students group so now I'm outside of Herring Hall and we are about to have the session about the online resources at UC Davis and academic advising and I will see you guys after that I'm back for my last formal session for the day, which was major advising. We were all separated into different majors, and for majors that were very small, they would group other majors together that are in the same department, which was a happen to me. Our major advisor was super nice. She not only gave us advice about major requirements, degree requirements, and other academic requirements, but she also turned out to be a UC Davis alumni. So she gave us a lot of advice on being new to the big UC Davis environment and how to deal with the quarter system and stuff like that. Pro tip, be sure to get to know all of your peer advisors and academic advisors, major advisors, because they'll be the people who will guide you as a freshman new to UC Davis. They know absolutely everything you need to know so that you can be successful on campus and even thereafter. 
We ended at around 2.30 today, so there's not much to do until 7 p.m. where the recreational fair will be happening outside of the ARC, which is the Activities and Recreational Center, sort of like UC Davis's gym. There will be a lot of sports, clubs, and organizations there to orient all of us about what they do, I guess. So see you guys later. Today is the last day of orientation and we have no more sessions with our orientation leaders. This morning, there are two blocks for us to choose to go to any of four sessions. One about housing and dining, one about internship and career, one about studying abroad, and the other about academic success and tutoring. I attended the internship and the academic success. After which, they still separated us into two groups for lunch and free time to not congest the cafeteria, but we don't eat with our orientation leaders anymore. In the afternoon, there are a bunch of other optional sessions until 3 o'clock where we have the violence preparation session which is mandatory and if you don't attend that one, there will be a hold place and you can't register for any winter courses. Unlike in the morning, all the afternoon sessions are happening in the Mandavi Center. All of the morning sessions happen in various buildings and you have to walk really far across campus. So there's 15 minutes in between the two blocks of morning sessions. But in the Mandavi Center, everything happens pretty much continually except for one break in the middle. Today is the day of orientation checkout and move in for all of the international and national students. Checkout is from 8.30 to 9.30 and move in can start at 8.30. The place to check out would be at your dorm services center, either in Tercero or in Segundo. Now that orientation is over, I'll be giving you guys a summary of my insights as well as what to bring so that you can be prepared for when you attend the international and national orientation as an incoming freshman. Overall, the INO was really informative, and it was a great opportunity to meet new people. I learned a lot about the school, its resources, its faculty, fellow freshmen, and so many other students. The program for the week ran pretty smoothly, but sometimes there were discrepancies in the schedule. While this isn't necessarily an issue, I wish they discussed more in depth the scholarships and financial aid that can be attained by international and out-of-state students. This was apparently only discussed to out-of-state or national parents in the family program, not even to the students. Although there are less opportunities for international and out-of-state students to get financial aid than in-state students, I think that it's still important for UC Davis to discuss what options we have since we are paying a more expensive tuition. I also want to explain a little bit about the room situation. My roommates for the academic year didn't attend the international orientation so I didn't have any roommates for the entire week. You'll know that the roommates you chose for this school year are also international or out-of-state students if you see more of these green papers on your door. For orientation sessions, always bring a pen and notebook or your phone for notes. For day two after check-in, bring your laptop and earphones since you'll be watching videos and filling out forms online. To add some ease to your orientation experience, I suggest downloading the apps UC Davis Now and Google Maps. On the UC Davis Now app, download the new student guide, which includes the schedule for family and student programs, as well as the campus map. You'll also be receiving the exact same schedule on paper during check-in. However, I find that this app is more convenient since you'll likely be having your phone at all times. You can use another map app, but I suggest using Google Maps specifically because you can endpoint your starting point and it will show the directions to your destination. Google Maps also shows different routes and ETAs if you walk, ride a bike, 
or will ride a car. Those are all the tips I have, and I hope you enjoyed watching my UC Davis international and national orientation experience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also ask me any questions about INO or tell me about your INO experience in the comments below. I plan on making more UC Davis related content like this in the future. So if you're interested in seeing that, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're an incoming Aggie, I'm super excited for you and wish you all the best on starting your college journey. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see y'all soon.